Hello everyone and welcome back to the third tutorial on how to model a bedroom and la last time I left you with um, the bed that we created and I hope that that lesson was uh, more than uh, understandable understood yeah I think so never mind and this time I wanted to um, create the um, desks besides uh, beside the this bed and it should be pretty much easier than um, creating the bed itself so um, first uh, always uh, remember to save what we done you can go over file and save sin or save sin as at first and give it a name um, but uh, let's start um, we will create a cube Okay, and I'm going to rebuild the bed uh, just to uh, just to make the this desk um, at the same height as the bed itself. So I'm going to uh, use the scale tool for this cube and bring this cube to be almost at the same height as the mattress. Okay, and then I will keep it here and we can uncheck the V on the bed layer and continue from there um, at first I'm going to scale this a bit to the sides and also for the length for it or whatever um, now um, this time I'm going to use uh, some other method on how to divide the, uh, this cube um, you can buy you can do this with from the attribute editor right uh, like as always uh, add some more subdivision width and height but I want to do something else this time I want you to practice on other uh, methods so we are going to hold down the shift and then right click on the cube and choose insert edge loop tool as you can see this is a, a different menu that you or um, that you get when you right click on the cube so choose the insert edge loop tool and now you will get this arrow now um, this arrow is actually um, the edge loop tool that we are going to uh, uh, left click on our mouse and choose to add a sub subdivision uh, at the point that we wish wish it to be so I'm going to add one more edge loop here and then I want this area here to be a draw so I'm going to add a draw for it and I probably want it to be framed uh, er area so um, I will add another subdivision loop here so that will be the frame for this draw and maybe another one for here to be the equal si equal uh, frame for this draw so you always need to to see to see it in your imagination how you want to how you are going to divide this um, cube now i need um, another two over here and over here and I want them to be matched the, at the same size as the frame so make sure you're, uh, you, you see what you're doing that and you pay attention for those details also I want to add an uh, edge loop over here and I want to add another edge loop over here so maybe sometimes it won't be that equal in the size so you can undo that and then um, th there is a problem after undoing these things sometimes the uh, edge loop tool is uh, becoming buggy or something so you will have to click on this arrow and tap on F8 and then again uh, hold down the shift and right click the cube and add edge loop and then it will be fixed um, yeah this this is really something important for you to know so I hope it will help you in the in the future and also always when you want to get out from this edge loop uh, mode 
you will have to click over here uh, and then no just once not twice just once and then you will be sure that you ain't adding more edge loops that you don't want okay so now what we are going to do we are right click on this cube choose face choose face choose this face and this face and those two faces will be an empty space inside our um, desk so I'm going to extrude and I will extrude those inside alright like so um, I'm going to uh, apply the x-ray to see how, how far I am inside this desk so that way it's okay let's turn off the x-ray and the other thing is to pay attention for stuff like this I don't really need this face so I can choose this uh, face and delete it by tapping on the delete but there are actually two pieces here so I will delete them both as you can see now there is not there is no other faces that we don't need here and then I will choose this side face and this side face and I want to extrude them to the sides so I will choose extrude and pull the blue arrow to the sides and then I want to um, somehow to give this draw um, a better look uh, so it will uh, look like a draw but before that maybe as you can see there is um, some sort of uh, not equal size for the this side of the frame and this side so this one should be uh, thinner <coughs> so I will choose edge and choose this edge and shift double click on this e little edge so it will actually loop the selection all over this edge and then we can um, use the move tool to somehow adjust this so it will look equal okay okay that's fine then right click on the desk choose face and we are going to uh, do something about this draw we are going to choose extrude and <coughs> I want you to once click in this cube only once and release and then I want you to <coughs> catch this middle uh, cube and drag your mouse a bit uh, to the left like so and then choose the this uh, blue arrow to bring it a bit in after that choose extrude again and pull it back outside okay so that way we will have something that looks like um, there is space in between this draw and the desk itself you can maybe adjust it like so so it will um <coughs> to look better um, no not that way you will have actually to choose this edge and this edge over here and then choose the scale tool to bring it back outside like so and yeah it will have to be applied to the those two um, for those two edges so let's choose those two and then we will scale it to the side like so yeah that's better and tap on the F8 then right click on the desk again and choose this face choose the extrude tool and catch this red uh, <coughs> cube and bring it inside like so and then catch the, the green cube and bring it in like so you can pull it outside if you like a bit and then we will use the extrude again and we will bring this handle out so we will have something to pull this draw out and I think that's about it um, tap on the F8 again 
and now we have three more things to do so the first thing is to right click on the um, on the desk and choose edge choose this edge and then choose this edge and choose this edge for the handles and this edge okay the corner edges uh, don't pay attention for this edge it's already selected it's some bug issues with Maya but really just forget about it now we will uh, go over edit mesh and choose bevel and as you can see our corners add beveled and there is also a bevel section after we cr after we made this function uh, there is a bevel section over here that's already been uh, open automatically when we choose bevel and you can add more segments and then you will make those uh, corners smoother and if you like you can offset it to bring it to to do it more wide open and that's about it that looks better now we have uh, we don't we we lost lose the um, sharp edges over here corners and it looks um, pretty much better than before tap on the F8 and let's bring in the bed um, so I want to to see how this desk is fits to the to this bed and therefore I'm I revealed it uh, back to the scene I want to position this desk over here next to the wall and nearby the bed somehow like this okay and if it fits your needs you can control D duplicate this uh, desk and move it to the other side of the bed okay so now we have two desks and that's already a good uh, thing so we in that way we save some time by creating another uh, desktop and it won't probably it won't probably um, came out same as this so we need to uh, make things um, symmetrical so therefore we are duplicating items when we needed and that's for the desk so that was the third part I hope you enjoy this part um, I wanted to add uh, a closet also but I think I will um, keep it to the other part of this bedroom so stay tuned and come visit my channel when you have time to model a bit and learn something okay so bye have a nice day and see you soon